Hey, to you. What's going on? Let me ask you a favor. Can you smash I that like button? Hey, welcome back. Um, I got an announcement to make. I'm finally going back into the game making um, part of this channel. I have one more um, animation video that I'm finishing up right now. And then I want to kind of take a little bit of everything that I've been doing and um, put it together in a video game. So don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date on my progress on the video game that I'm making. And you can be able to help kind of like influence what it's gonna come out to be like. But let's get straight into this. Today, I wanna show you how I end up using the video camera inside of Clip Paint Studio to make a scene more lively than it actually is. Okay, if it's uh, your first time seeing this scene, um, and you want to see how it all came together, you can look at my last video and that video link will be up in the right hand corner. So as you see, I changed the um, setting around for this, uh, for this um, quick video. I just wanted to put everything up front with you guys. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do is create a 2D camera. You go up to animations, new animation layer and go to 2D camera. So it's gonna come up like any regular folder. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. And then you wanna take all of the layers that's gonna be included or need to be um, affected by this camera, right? So now that you've done that, you're gonna come over. First thing I'm gonna do is play my, play my animation, okay. So now I got that animation and I know where I'm going with it. I come over to the object tool or operation tool. And this is the tool that will help you manipulate the camera. So you're gonna take this camera and what you wanna do is kinda come out to about right here. And let me come up a little bit. And this is where I'm starting out. And the moment you make an adjustment to that camera, a keyframe pops up. This is it right here. And that keyframe is going to guide how your camera uh, moves the rest of the way through. So what I did was on the last one, I took it and I went up to where it's just about the ball is just about to leave the um, screen. And then I zoomed in on that. I moved the camera over and zoomed in because we want to catch that ball coming straight off that camera I mean coming straight off the canvas then boom right and I'm gonna move it just a little bit more and that's gonna create that feel of movement right and then what I want to do is go further down just before if I scroll up a little bit just before this image is about to disappear it's the next image which is the um, what one second in and I'm just gonna hit the keyframe creator so it adds a new keyframe just click this boom so now what that does is that freezes this frame from here frame 7 all the way to frame 13 and then all I'm gonna do is copy this keyframe I'm on select it there we go. Copy that keyframe and put it right here. Because I want to come back over here. Matter of fact, I'm going to move this from 13 to 14. But I'm copying this original one because I want to come back over here like I'm I'm catching this, this ball coming back into the next scene. And we're just going to do the same thing. Scroll down just about right here and well I see the original time I did it is right here so do the same thing and just copy it and paste and once you got that if you got a scene like this that is really um, repetitive you good you already did it you already did what you need to do 
So you just copy and paste that. And then I come over here to the last scene and take the first, I think first two, call it a day. Make a quick adjustment. Boom. Okay, so now it's gone. Now, the only other thing that I would um, say that is uh, available on this is I seen when I first got the program and they did the upgrade to it that you can um, dim the area around it, but I could not figure it out. I was going to do this yesterday, but I was trying to figure it out and I couldn't figure it out. So if anybody knows how to do that, please let me know. We could trade uh, tips. Other than that, that's how you do the 2D camera and clip studio paint. I hope that you got something out of this. And as always, animate life forever.